Hi, welcome to You Can Do It. I'm your host, Chris, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to install an 18-inch hardwired Utilitec LED under cabinet light. Um, I'm going to do this without having to tear up the sheetrock. We're going to fish some wires down to these outlets and get these installed. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how you can do it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take apart the fixture, and we're going to get it strip it down to just the actual housing itself. Keep all your hardware. This lens here, it just kind of fits into a groove, so you want to carefully pop that out with a flathead screwdriver. If you get one end popped out, the whole thing will just kind of slide out. Just slide your finger down, pull the lens off, take this hardware and set it aside now inside there's three clips that are built into the fixture you'll pull the fixture down to release the fixture the actual module and the LED strip from the outer housing and so once you get that out you'll just take these guys set this off to the side Here's some hardware in here as well. We're just gonna work with this right now to position the light and mark our hole and drill it so that we can get our wire into the outlet. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take apart the outlet here. Um, I went ahead and turned the breaker off, but I just wanna make sure that it's dead. And I put my tester in and we got zero voltage. You can use a multimeter. Um, I've got this uh, high-end plug tester and it has a GFI tester on it and I tripped it and it tripped the breaker so we're good to go there. We're gonna go ahead and take the plate off and remove the receptacle device. Now they side wired this. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the wires off the outlet. And once again, you wanna make sure that the power is off and you wanna make sure that you feel comfortable working on electrical. But just make sure the power is turned off. Check the power with the meter to just double check to make sure it's off before you work on it. I'm gonna disconnect this receptacle from the wires here and get get it out of the way actually I got enough wire there I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut it loose it's enough wire to make it up we're gonna have to pigtail this to the device anyhow when we're done installing our new wiring so set that off to the side bring the wiring down so now what I've got here is I've got a high-powered magnet I want to see which side this box is mounted on the stud. So with this magnet here, I can bring it over to the sheetrock and pick up the sheetrock screws. And it looks like the stud is mounted on the left or the right side of the box. So I should have technically 16 inches going this way, but not always. There, there could be another stud mounted in there. So we're just going to run this through and see. So I got another, there's another stud right there. There's some screws. So from here to here, I have an open bay. So most likely when I position my light up in here, I'll be able to bring the wiring into this concentric knockout when I position the fixture in the cabinet. So I'll position the fixture. I'm going to go with this concentric knockout on the back of the fixture. There's one, two, three. You don't want to drill any holes in here because this is where the transformer is and you won't really be able to get the wire in. So you want to use these factory concentric knockouts that they give you, one, two, and three. That's where you want to come into the fixture. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one right here and I'm going to do some measuring and mark the cabinet where I'll be drilling a hole. Okay, so I got the housing centered from left to right. 
I'm using the center concentric knockout. I have it knocked out. I'm going to go ahead and mark with a pencil. And that's where I'll be drilling my hole into the wall carefully. So I'm going to be using a hole saw. This is 7 8 You want to make sure your drill bit isn't bigger than the actual housing itself. Otherwise, you'll see, you know, the hole protruding in the sheetrock. That is if you're not using tile. So um, in this case, this, this hole saw is just going to barely make it in the depth of the housing. So we're into the wall, and so now we're going to focus on the outlet here. So we've got the hole drilled up here into the wall, and then we're going to go into the box. There's two knockouts in the box, one on top on the left and one on the right. We're going to go with the left one. There's no wires coming through there. Now if you have a box that has a ton of wires, it could be a little more difficult trying to snake a wire through there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and knock this one out. Use a flathead screwdriver here, depending on what kind of box you have. But the ones from Home Depot, they're blue, and they just pop right out. So now I'm going to take a chain, a jack chain, and I'm going to stick it through the hole up here running in the wall and I have a bendable magnet and I'm going to stick in this hole and catch the chain. I'll show you how that's done. All right, I got some medium duty jack chain here. They use this to hang light fixtures and shops and you can get this in uh, Ace Hardware or your local hardware. They sell it by the foot and I've got about, I don't know, five foot here, but I don't need five feet. I'm just going to stick this guy in the hole there. I'm just going to try to feed it in. You might have to use a screwdriver. Once you get enough in there, the weight of it will start pulling it down in the wall. Now, if you're dealing with a wall that's an exterior wall that's going to have insulation in it, it'll be a little more difficult to get the jack chain down the wall. Also, when drilling your hole, you want to make sure that you don't have a ton of plumbing on the other side of the wall. So if you're, if you're doing this and it's backed up against the bathroom, definitely investigate that before you just start drilling holes. Because um, this installation does vary. But since it's such an easy, um, it's such a short distance to this outlet, I'm just showing you how you can get this in the wall. So... So I've got about, oh, maybe six inches in there so far. All right. So now it's starting to pull. So I've got, oh, maybe 10 inches in there. So I'm going to go up into the knockout. So what I've got here, this is just a bendable magnet. And it's, I got this at Home Depot. It's made by Super Magnets. It's got a really powerful magnet right here on the end. And you can bend this thing like a coat hanger, whichever way you want to go with it. So I'm going to stick this in the hole of the outlet box. And just kind of move it in the direction until I catch the jack chain. In which I just touched it. I can feel it. And I almost had it. It's kind of like a game. So what we're trying to do is get the chain pulled down through the knockout. You may have to use some needle nose pliers to get a hold of the chain and pull it out so that we can hook our Romex to the chain. 
So I've scored the wire or the outside jacket and I'm going to cut off the black and the white because I'm going to use the ground to hook into the chain to make it nice and thin going up through the hole. Run the wire through the end of the chain and bend it over. And then we're going to take a pair of needle nose and then just kind of smash that copper wire down so it's flat and then we'll apply some tape, electrical tape. Alright, so now we're ready to go ahead and begin pulling the chain up through the wall until we receive the Romex at our light fixture location. You may have to feed as you're pulling. You don't want to pull too, too hard. If it begins to stop, you want to pull it back and then refeed it just so the chain doesn't separate in the wall. Because if you pull it too hard, the chain will pull apart. But most of the time, it pulls through nice and easy. All right, so we've got, got the wire where we want it. We're going to go ahead and begin to make up and splice our fixture wire at the outlet box. We're going to remove the jacket from the Romex using a pair of Klein strippers. These particular strippers here, they score the outside sheathing of the Romex only without stripping the individual conductors. So we're going to separate the whites, the black, and the ground. And what we're going to end up doing here is since we have so many wires in this box, we're going to pigtail a white wire from the group of wires of the whites and then the blacks and the ground. So we're not landing four conductors onto the outlet. It makes for a better solid connection. And then we're not carrying the load through the device down line. So we're going to go ahead and strip back the wire about three quarters of an inch. Now we'll make up a six inch pigtail and then we'll wire those together. So as you can see there in the photo, I've got a six inch pigtail wire coming off the group of whites, the black, and also the ground wire. And so those wires now will connect to the outlet. So we're going to go ahead and fold the wires nice and neat here after we install the wires to the outlet. So you got the gold screw on the right, that's where your black will land, and then the white screw on the other side of the outlet is where the neutral wire will land and then the green screw is where your ground goes. So I put some hooks in the wires to where they'll wrap around the screw nice and tight. You can take your pliers and just give it a nice little shepherd's hook on the end and then wrap that wire around the screw. You can cinch it down nice and tight so it doesn't open when you tighten the screw. It's good to screw in both screws just so when you go to push it in, the ground wire doesn't touch the hot wire or hot screw. If you're folding the wires in incorrectly and it'll just, it'll short out the breaker is what it'll end up doing. But I like to just push all the screws in, tighten them down, not torque them real tight, but just you want to snug them down pretty good to where they don't get loose.
So we're about ready. We're going to wire up the light fixture here. So we've got our knockout on the fixture. We're going to go ahead and put in the squeeze connector into the back of the fixture, which is provided with the light fixture. It has a small little lock nut that you'll install on the other side with a lock washer. And so now we're going to feed the wires through the squeeze connector. And once we get it with a light where we want to position it, We'll go ahead and snug up those two screws on the two screw squeeze connector. We don't want to tighten them too tight, but then once you get it where you want it, we'll install a screw to hold one end of the light fixture to the cabinet. And then the opposite screw on the other end as well. So now we're ready to grab the inner workings of the light fixture. They kind of hang just on a little uh, ridge on the fixture while you wire it up. So your white will go to white and your black will go to black and then you have your ground wire inside the fixture as well. Now it does have the Wago snap-in wire connectors. They're clear so you can see when you push the wire in, it should go all the way to the end of the actual wire nut itself. You can see the wire in there and it'll fit in there nice and tight. You'll need to fold the wires in carefully and snug them in so you don't have a wire sticking out of the housing. Because everything just kind of snaps in together. If you're not getting it to snap together, it's because you have a wire that needs to be tucked in better. So once you get that installed, you can install the two small set screws and then your lens. All right, we're ready to test the light fixture here after we get the screws installed. All right, so we got our breaker back on, power's on, everything's installed. We're going to go ahead and turn on the light fixture and see how everything turns out. There's a toggle switch right here on the bottom of the fixture. Just turn it on, and there you go. An 18-inch Utilitech LED fixture, and it's pretty easy to do if you got a jack chain magnet and you're not afraid to work on electrical. So... Thank you for watching. You can do it and stay tuned for our next video.